Guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the first Pro Tour Cube here on YouTube slash me or twitch.tv slash me. Uh, I've heard good things about this cube. I've heard one thing and someone said I'm in one of these drafts right now and it's quite excellent. It was the Squirtle Squad. And um, I'm hoping that it is pretty awesome. I don't know. I haven't looked at the list. I don't know what's in here. I just assume that it's Pro Tour winning card, not Pro Tour top eight cards, um, <clears throat> which can give you a good idea of some of the cards that'll be in the cube. So you can kind of uh, build around that. Oh, an ancient tomb. That seems like it's got Civic Saber. I'm fascinated. I am fascinated. Ancient tomb is probably the pick here, right? I think I hear him right now. And it's like, that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> like, just be on time, man. Alright, um, Ancient Tomb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow roll these first few picks to see if he can make it in time. We're talking about Michael B. He doesn't know how to be on time, so we have to wait for him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's go. Don't screw this up for us. Neon Tokyo Rain, I will see what I can do. Thank you for contributing to the next draft and half of the draft after that, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this ancient tomb. I agree with that. Well, you don't even know I it's in the pack. Agree with ancient tomb. Okay, well. Hmm. Hmm. I think a Verdant Catacomb. I can't imagine there's dual lands in this cube, though. I have to assume there are shock lands. Shock lands are definitely top aided, right? Your mom top aided once. Is she in the cube? Yes. Wow, really? Yeah. That's impressive. Good for her. She's making a making a name for herself in life. <clears throat> hey, man. I didn't get the Discord message. The Discord message? Yeah. I, I go at 2 every day, so if, you, if you're here by 2 o'clock, you'll be on time. That's all it takes. It doesn't change from day to day. Just like your work schedule when you go into work, you don't have to call every day and be like, hey, what time do I come to work today? No, I do, actually. It's really weird. Oh, well, that's real weird. Yeah, I would <laughs> I would be like, hey, can you can you lock me down for a specific time? Because that's really... I don't even know what to take here. I have no idea what to take here. I think it's just Verdant Catacombs, because yeah, none of these cards them. are really, like... None of these Nothing cards are really popping off for me. Oh, a Metal Worker? Oh, well, there is a dual land. All right, interesting. Hmm. How far back does the cube go, is my question. I guess real far back. <clears throat> that would make it interesting, because, like, if it's, like, 15, 20 years back, then... <clears throat> yeah, all right, there's probably going to be dual lands. We got a Scoop Mob. <laughs> oh, Scoop Scoop, scoop. Mob top eight? I didn't even know that. I didn't know that either. We just simul drank. <clears throat> that was really weird. Simul drank. Winding Constrictor. I have no idea what to take here. This is actually really mind blowing. I mean, I like Metal Worker, but I don't know how many artifacts support. I it. don't either. I have to assume there's enough. Zealous Conscripts. We can. Oh no, we got a Verdant Catacomb though. God, we got twelve seconds. Kind of like taking Scrubland here. Yeah, all right. Or Psychonic Rift. <clears throat> and we can get it with this, so that's good. Cool. <clears throat> Mike's going to be busy dying on the stream for the first little while, so. This guy's just a beef, this is just a beefy boy. That is one beefy boy. Beefy boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick-ass boy. Damn. Buck, bow. Uh, <laughs> well, we just passed Zell's Conscript, Pestermite, and Deceiver Exarch, I think. Is it just a tune with Aether? I don't even know, man. <clears throat> this cube is jamming me up real good. I don't think we'd be able to use the energy very effectively. I mean, it still gets you land, but you don't know that. You don't know that. It's true. This is a new cube. 12 seconds again. Oh, a God. whole new cube. Don't you dare close your picks. I'm going to take this from Sky Swallower. Yeah, that guy's, imp that guy's impossible to beat. I have Everyone no idea how that. good it is, but it's in the cube, so it's got to be decent, right? <laughs> Mm. Soren? That's a good Soren. That is a good Soren, and we got the colors for him. I think that's a good choice. 
I don't think anything else is better than that. The only thing else I consider is probably like Maloku. I don't even know if Maloku is good anymore. Maloku passed a point where it was like, I don't want to return my lands. I need those. Wasteland, Contagion. Interesting. Got some homelands action up in here. Liliana's mastery. I don't think it's Contagion. Squirrel nest. Is it just stomping ground? So I guess the combos in this in here, squirrel nest and uh, whatever the and the other earth card, earthcraft, earthcraft, yeah. Josh, how are you going to be like? <laughs> when was Sky Swallower in a pre Pro Tour top eight? When we also have like ancient tombs, some wastelands, and dual lands. I'm pretty sure a Sky Swallower, uh, if, if Sky Swallower was in a top eight, um, you know what? Never mind. I'm having trouble talking here. Sphinx's Rev. Hmm. It's a good one. Hmm. Teferi. Well, let's take the triple blue card. Seems good. I'm just taking the lands to remain open, but. I don't know what's going on here. I'm very confused. I think it's just Sphinx's Rev here. Yeah. Is Mike recovered from the booze? Yeah, but just barely. I almost died. He. It was real. It was real <clears throat> rough. Skin render or shrinking mall rather. <laughs> I call it shrinking mall. Skin render or shrinking mall. I kind of like Kadama's reach here. Yeah, that makes sense. You can go Ancient Tomb into Kadama's Reach on turn two. It's also the library. Sylvan right? Library, too. Oh, God. <clears throat> you didn't... Yeah, well, now you know. I think it's Reach. Actually, I don't know. I'm going with Library. <clears throat> oh, this was in here, too. And I was like, huh? <laughs> this is like in Craig Wesco's top eight list, I think. Maybe. That sounds accurate. Last breath? It's removal. It's not old Rudy 2D, I know that. Yeah, let's take think of this. Rudy 2D. Oh, Rudy 2D. That's good. I like how you kept it going. Oh, uh, Costa Reno seems pretty okay here. Yeah, I would definitely take that. I think blossoming defense. <clears throat> Actually, maybe this is good. <clears throat> Whatever, I'll take this. This is pretty good. Like for six mana, or for five mana, you get to make two zombies and kill and give negative two, negative two to something. Yep. Nah. Eh. Whatever. Non basic land walk actually could probably win us a game. I have no idea what's going on here. <clears throat> this 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 draft is all over the place right now. We got a lot of fixing lands though, so we got that going for us. And we got a thick boy. Thick boy. <clears throat> Now we got a zombie strat. You're going over there. And then we didn't have a zombie strat. And it was gone. Oh, but the zombie was gone. Oh, Phyrexian Processor. Man, I'll pay 19. <clears throat> Overgrown Tomb. Huh. Punishing fire if we get the Grove of the Burn Wills. Wills, Wills. I don't think it's Processor. I think it's either Capsize or Overgrown Tomb. I do feel like an Overgrown Tomb, but we do have a Verdant and a Scrub. Thought Not is pretty good. However, the problem is we don't have that much colorless mana. All we have is Yavimaya Coast so far, right? Yeah, Yavimaya Coast and Ancient Tomb. Well, didn't want to do that, but I knew there was no way around it once I'd clicked it, because... Well, once I had clicked it, I knew there was no way around it. I don't know why I wanted him here. <laughs> I have no idea. Mortify is alright, but... Oh yeah, that's also a good pick. I didn't even see that. I, I, I almost like the overgrown to him. 
Yeah, that was my first choice. Yeah, I'm just going to go over Grown Tomb. I have no idea. If I'm not leaning towards anything specific in these packs, I'm just going to go with the dual land that we can fetch out. Like Primeval Titan is basically a dual land that we can fetch out. Definitely seems like the best one. I like a Bituminous Blast. I also like Gilded Lotus, but Primeval Titan is just a better Gilded Lotus, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to take Titan. Also, it has Trample, don't you know? I do know. Oh, Illusions of Grandeur? I bet Donate's in here, and you can Illusions Donate someone. That's pretty cool. Unless it happens to you, then it's not cool. That's less cool. Is this a control magic cube? Can we be controlling the magic? We could also take Wooded Foothills, which gets Stomping Ground and Overgrown Tomb so far. Control magic's pretty strong. So is this Elspeth, though. That is correct. I don't know if I want another... This is actually 7 drop. It's also double blue, which is a little rough. This? Yeah. So is this, though. So I feel like we're going to have to put some blues in here. <clears throat> Put in the blues. What happened right now? Oh. Oh. What's a pick, man? What are you going to do? I think control magic. What? It's also double blue. Yeah, but it's really good. Yeah, I agree. This also feels like a control magic cube. Oh, a trade wind rider? God. Also, Botanical Sanctum, which would probably be really good for us. I like Ramping Ground. Oh, that's actually better. I think better. that's actually yeah. probably better. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Ramping Growth. So I uh, pulled the trigger last night on the Commander cards. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd it feel? It felt good. It was only $91. Not bad. How's it feel when you want to buy stuff because you have a reasonable paying job now? Pretty good. Yeah, I would imagine. I get to have more fun based on it. Get to have more fun. How do you feel about reflecting pool? <clears throat> it seems pretty good for us. I mean, it's probably gonna tap for everything. You're gonna tap for everything. What was pack one? Pick one. Uh, ancient tomb. I'm gonna move all the lands over here, so we know how many playables we have. It's a new job. I work for Fraud Support, a company called FIS. It's not a new job. It's just he's had it for a month, but two months and a half. Yeah, so it's been a while, but like, it's it's still it's, it's still pretty new. Yeah, I'll just take the pool here. I have no idea. Sylvan carry added. That's a thing. I think that's probably the thing here. Yeah, I think all this deck cares about is getting to like six and seven, and, and fixing our mana. Probably win. Wow, we'll probably win if we hit six or seven. That's yeah, crazy. I think so. Look at all our fixing lands. They're beautiful right now. I do Oof. want another blue land. A fetch, preferably a fetch land. A fetchy McFetcherson. Or a Dooley McDoolerson. Like a Misty Rainforest would be... You're right. Really, any blue fetch land would be really good. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Kukush. Kukush. that Kukush. <laughs> Whoa, well. I mean, it's pretty good. It's probably better than anything else in this pack. I don't think it's Azorius Charm. No. Hmm. I'm sad you haven't accepted my Facebook friend request. You told us all to friend you during your tequila stream. <laughs> What's your Facebook name? Because usually, usually, people from the stream have Frank also as their friend, and that's why I'm like, okay, I know who this person is, kind of. Hmm. Verdian Shaman, Temple Garden, or Huntmaster? I'll, I'll, I'll add you right now. I'll do a live. I'll I'll do a live. <laughs> Oh man, that's a little that's a little Bill O'Reilly there. I think it's Huntmaster here. That's a high quality. Josh Vance, there you go. Boom. Confirmed. Destroy an artifact, huh? I'm gonna take this orangutan. I think this orangutan's probably pretty good in this cube, I would imagine. Look at the Vanissa. We only have one planeswalker, so I'm not too concerned with that.
Murderous cut? All right, we'll murderous cut. Or do we transgress the mind? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take transgress here. Hmm. I'm trying to take this Blazing Spectre. Maybe that card's good. I don't think it's Glimpse here. I don't think it's Scab Clan. I don't think it's any of these. Let's take this guy. Oh, Raging Ravine? All right. That's All right, I just added three people. So. Wow. Yeah, so I used to add everyone who added me on Facebook just because I thought it was good for uh, my content and whatnot. Like, people obviously are either adding me due to being fans. Boom! It's nice. your boy! That's a good one. That is a good one. That also makes me feel like I'm going to enjoy this cube. It's like one of the Once best I ones. see Jace, I'm like, all right, we're good. We're home. <laughs> the Laren Academy and Thran Dynamo are also pretty good. Uh, I don't think we're an Academy deck. Uh, I think we are a Jace the Mind Sculptor deck, then. Where are my blue lands at? Being drafted by other people. No, they need to stop. <clears throat> this is 19 playable so far. Oh, uh, we're not going to play Scab Clan Mauler, I don't think. Yes, yes, yes. Probably not playing Dryad's Fist Skip, I, I think imagine it's, okay. it's pretty good. Like, it's just an unblockable two guy. Everything else seems pretty playable. I feel like this is main deckable in this format, I would imagine. Probably. I mean, it works. Probably. It's 2 2 for 3. It's not too bad. Greg Ogre. It's a Greg Ogre. Greg Ogre. That's Greg Ogre. Oh, boy. Remand? Maybe. Acidic Slime? Maybe. Those are my two picks. Maybe. No, those are not maybe my two picks. Those are my two picks. Mm. You don't have to take them, but those are my two picks. I think they're my two picks as well. I just okay. don't know which one's better. Hmm. Rogue Optic, what's your name? Or at least your first name. Hmm. You don't like Master of the Waves here? Master no. of the Waves, I said. I don't uh, have that many blue pips. Yeah, no, I, I was just kidding. You don't have to answer. It was a joke, Michael. Ugh. Well, it was a joke, you see. Oh, Ugh. I bought a Force Bike. Classy. Classic MTGO. I think, I think Gideon Jury is better. Gideon Jury. Yeah, I was like, well, the jury might be out. The Gideon <clears throat> Jury might be out on that. I don't like Double White, though. It's the last pack, so we kind of got to buckle down. I guess it probably is Gideon Jura. I also like Supreme Verdict because we don't have many creatures. We do have Sylvan Carry added, though. Hmm. I don't want to be killing my Sylvan Carry added. I'm just going to add everyone who friend requested me that way. There you go. I added three more people. Gabby made cupcake on, cupcakes on stream? That is uh, That is some commitment right there. Give me a white blue land. Come on, one time. Don't be like this. Ooh, compulsive research, angel of despair. Oh, that's a that's a card, boys. Mike, I'm sure you've already answered this a bunch, but what's your favorite cons tribe? Um, this pack is actually tricky. I don't think it's angel. We it's can't. either Saltai or Jeskai. One of those two. So it's either the cool tribe or the oppressive tribe. Okay. Why are they oppressive? Is Just they, guy? Are they oppressive? I mean, they they're oppressive in their control strategies. Oh, I thought you meant there was like lore where they were like oh, racist no, no, no. or something, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute! I don't want to be the know. racist tribe. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's I think it's one of these two. I don't know which one though. I'm gonna go with compulsive. Hmm. I like taking extra turns. Three, three counters at the top. I actually gained 100 life in an SCG feature match once. That was pretty fun. Matthew Ori, I never stream, but if you want to add me on Twitch as a friend, you can. It's O Macalo. Or no, it's Bartle. I don't remember what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I don't really interact that much on Twitch, so don't worry about it. Forbid? No, that's. Probably not. I'll try to avoid any more double blue cards if yeah, I can. that's what I was thinking. Temporal Mastery? Should you get there? With a scroll rack? What if we wheel a scroll rack with a Temporal Mastery? Ooh. That'd be good. Um. 
Are yeah, I don't think we're doing Johnny? that. I'm just okay. thinking Johnny, whatever. Sky Spawner. <laughs> Cadaverous Bloom. Oh boy. What does that do? It's not that good. It's one of those broken cards in Magic. This card was responsible for lots of bad things. Yeah, but think of today's standards. Is it that good? I don't think so. You have no standards. I wasn't around during that time. I like plane cycling here. What did, what did they do with the broken manas? Uh, they played squanderous, uh, squander resources, and prosperity. Squ they squanched? Squanchy. I'm just going to take the Eternal Dragon. God, I really wanted a blue fixing. Oh, Civic Wayfinder is great. That's a good one. Yeah, that's actually fantastic for us. This is 23 cards. We're on we're on we're on track, boys. Oh, the old commander goblin. Well, they really picked weird versions of these cards to put in the cube. Well, I don't think it's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. I don't think it's you. It could be Ju Day of Judgment. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take the day. Make me feel some kind of day. Oh, we're not playing the remand. Oh, maybe we are. I have no idea what's going on here, though. None of these cards are good. I'll take the Void Slime just because it's a versatile counter spell. And I, I feel like, despite not having many blue fixing lands, we probably are going to have a lot of islands. I'll take a Chroma's Vengeance. Force Spike? Sure. Koi okay. might have actually been okay for us because we have Fetch Lands. We have a Fetch Land, Michael. Well, that's still one. So you're saying there's a chance. I guess. Whatever, I don't care. You're not making the cut anyway, you stupid idiot. <laughs> God, he's so bead. You could probably cut that on basic land walk guy. I like it. That is a reasonable cut arena. Look at all these beautiful lands. Beautiful lands. Beautiful, 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 beautiful lands. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. I have no idea what we're doing here, so we're just going in. We're going in blind here, ladies and gentlemen. So we have three red cards, and I think we already have like three red sources, right? Um, let's move some of these together. So green, green. This is almost two of everything, right? Two black, two red, three green, two white. So it's three green, one blue, but otherwise it's almost even. All right. Okay. So we have a Verdant Catacombs to get a Stomping Ground. We also have a Raging Green, so that's three red sources. Four red sources seems good. You want one for Civic Wayfinder, so that's fine. We only have three red cards. Uh, black sources, we have Kokusho, which is double black, which could be rough. Do we care? I'm not sure. Uh, do we need the red? No, but uh, we don't not need the red. We also don't have a reason not to play the red. Yeah, the red's pretty free. Like, I don't like cutting cards just for the sake of cutting them when we have no reason to cut them. We also have to find three replacements for them in other colors, and no. <laughs> I don't think you can afford to play Kusho or Jace. Yeah, we're never cutting Jace. Good luck with that. Probably need to cut Ancient Tomb, too. No, Tomb is really good. Like, we have plenty of... Tomb is just broken. This deck is kind of greedy, but what are you going to do? So green sources, we have one, two, three... Well, I'm not going to count Reflecting Pool, so one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven green. That seems fine. I might go to six. I think six is fine. Oof. You only need one. I don't know about that. Well, gotta live and learn, buddy. Blue, we have one, two, three. So we're gonna have to go to four there. Two white, three white, four white. This deck is real ambitious. I'm gonna cut you, add you. So this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think this is what we got to do. I'd add one swamp to play 41. 
18 lands. Yeah. We really want lands. I don't actually hate it, but I, I don't think we need a second swamp. The problem is, like, we have three black cards. Maybe and, another island? And, like, we have this, 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 um, Sylvan Caryatid, Rampant Growth, I forgot Sylvan Wayfinder. Yeah. Okay. Like, this is all our black sources right now. So, if anything, it'd probably be, like, an island that we'd want, because we have quite a few blue, blue cards. I'm sorry, I feel like you trailed off there. Right of Fubu cards. That's exactly what oh, I heard, so and I was like, buzz, buzz. did he have a stroke? These are blue sources. I think we might want another green, just because if we don't hit the green, like... Yeah. Yeah, I think a green would be fine. Alright, 18 lands. 41 cards. Live in the dream. Yeah, we can also get a scrubland with Eternal Dragon, because it is a plains. Oh yeah, and we also have Sylvan Carry Added. Your is face is a good. Sylvan Carry Added. Is it? Yeah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, I think this is a new cube, right? Yeah, yeah this is a brand new cube. cube. All right, see what happens. Perfect hand. It's pretty close. What more can you ask for? Don't be greedy. White sources. We're playing against the Goblin Bowling Team. I hope they don't have a perfect game. Let's see what you did there. Because it's bowling. Hopefully, they don't come up three hundred, boys. Bowling 300 is pretty hard. What's up, Sarah? Yeah, I hear most people can't bowl 300, as it turns out. Oh, that was a good one. I think we're just playing that. All the colors online. We do need a uh, second white and a second blue for these two expensive boys, but I think we'll be alright. I will block... They did not want to. They did not want to test me. Roadkill, thank you so much for the eight month sub. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think we just hunt master here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? What? Why was that funny? I don't know. It just was, man. Okay. Okay. Hey, man, let me ask you a question. Yeah, bro. You got any sugar? Do I have any sugar? Yeah. No. Dang. I was gonna make some coffee. Oh, actually, I might. Yeah, I think I do. It's in the uh, spice cabinet. There should be a big bag of it. Spice boy. Oh, wow. He flips? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good for us. I mean, he's going to regenerate, but that's fine. Taps him down. They should make a change. In Elder Scrolls Legends, it's totally different. They should make a change where, like, if, you, if a creature has trample and it deals damage, the damage goes over. They should make trample uh, not only affect... Combat damage. Oh, <laughs> we're doing it. Oh, boy, we're making it happen. No, I have to attack first, but I guess it doesn't matter. I kind of want a plus in case he has the bolt. Oh, oh no. he just concedes to it. Nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, boy, we're having a good time. A spice cabinet. Twitch is treating you. Yeah, you know, you get the... Uh... I was like, hey, you know, listen... When we, when we rented this house, I was like, hey, listen, do you have a specific cabinet I can use just for spices? And uh, they said no. And I was like, okay, that's reasonable. And so I just took a regular cabinet and put my spices in there instead. We have no idea what they're doing, so I'm just going to... Yep. Every, every hand with someone carry out it, I'm just snap keeping. I doubted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Boy, if I could hire the ants to do things, I would be. That would be. That's where the real money comes from. Oh, can we do a, a turn three hunt master again? That seems real good. Nope, that ain't going to do it. <sighs> Survives. 
What if the hand was six of your most expensive cards and also... Well, that would imply no lands, and that seems worse. Oh, God, I think we're just like, orangutanging this. Oh, yeah, that seems great. Boom, shakalaka. Shock the monkey! Eat it. Get busy munching. Have mountains ever won a pro tour? Maybe the cube should be four colors. Wow. I agree with you. Get those Dang. get those shit lands out of here. That's rude, man. Yeah, well, mount, maybe mountains shouldn't have killed my family. Hmm. I feel like last round we were pretty uh lucky, 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 lucky. Um well, that's just rude. I'm just getting rid of these two. I could care less about that. I'll keep the gas. I don't need a fifth land here. Oh, they, they gave me one anyway. Let's get. Let's go a poking. Let's go a poking. A Pokemon. Are you trying to break my heart? What is it, Frank? What about it? Uh, is it is only half good, and then they're half evil. It's sad, but this is the way of the guild, Sarah. You mean the blue half, right? Yeah, the blue half is the good half, and the evil half is the red half. Everybody knows that. I think blue is the evil color. Yeah, well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the red color. <laughs> My favorite part of Frank's stream is trying to figure out if his soda bottle is actually just clear or if it's green and showing the background from the green screen. I'll never tell. Can we go to combat? I just want to attack my tutu. I just want to bash your face in. Dang it. With what? You alright? Shortstop is only open until 7. Well, that's no good. Yeah, I might have to take a detour and go by there. Oh, you got time. Yeah. Have them put your card in, like, uh, in the bushes, and you can just yeah, grab it. no, I'm not doing that. Ain't nobody gonna go by and look in the bushes, man. Have them go drop it off at the sunnies, and then we can just go straight there. Can you hold this for my friend? Thanks. Oh, this is weird. No. No, we can't. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, that's cool. We're having a good time. That was rather rude. Man, I'm really regretting that. We're going to have to do a land here. That second blue is looking real good now. I guess I got I got greedy with this. 11 carry added. Well, uh, didn't expect it to die. Yeah, I did not foresee the Earthquake here. We only have three cards, though, so... I still feel like we're... We also could just start smashing with Raging Ravine, so... Any blue, and we're... Pretty online. And any any one blue can find us a, sec, a, a seventh land. So... And they're just gonna kill themselves with City of Brass, so it's no big deal. Oh god, what is this, an X spell? You gonna Banefire me for four? Walking Ballista? One offended dollar. <laughs> Man, if every time I offended someone they gave me a dollar, my god, I'd be MTG headquarters over here. Having trouble with his X spell apparently. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, I totally forgot to change the GIF. Oh, we're doing it right now. All right. What's this new GIF? Uh, I want to go here. And we're going to go to alert box. 
And then we're going to go to, uh, what is it, donation? All right. Change. Oh, we just win the game. I guess they, I don't know what's happening. Couldn't figure happening. out their expel, so they conceded. I have literally sense. no idea what just happened there. What in the heck? You done messed up, hey, hey, Ron! That's weird, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh... Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Seeing all this gifts at once is pretty amazing. Hmm. Is there a way to search here, or do I have to literally, like... I'm actually going to do this later. Um, because I like to format them and make them size correctly, so... I'm pretty pretty meticulous about stuff like that. I'm pretty meticulous about... Yeah, that's cool. You're a real, you're a real cool guy, but you got a lot of friends, you son of a biscuit. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Oh, it got real sad. I'm gonna join this match. I'm making shrimp stock right now. My apartment smells good. Probably smells like shrimp. Probably smells like sea bugs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a... I mean, it's got all our colors. Well, except for black. Except for white, too. So it has literally three of the five okay, colors. Yeah, but it has double blue, which is important. That is important. And Ray Ravine can just win the game. Yeah, Ray 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 I literally have no idea what just happened last round. Like, that was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I don't They're know like, why I conceded. I'll wipe the board. He seemed to be fine. Like, he wasn't in that bad of a spot. We had nothing. It smells like sea bugs and garlic and butter and celery a bit. Man. When you guys eat shrimp, you just eat the eyes, too? Do you eat the heads? No one eats the head of shrimps, man. That's gross. I don't know how shrimp work, bro. I just told you. Okay, that's fair. You did. But do you eat the head? You don't eat the head? No. What about crawdads? Do you eat the head of crawdads? I don't eat crawdads. Why? It's because they're weird and yet they eat Why the are they weirder than shrimp? Because they're like, I don't know, they're more bug-like. I don't really have anything against them. I've just never really... The only time I've ever tried to have them, it was like too complicated to eat them, so I just gave up. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. But what about the eyes? Do you guys don't... you guys don't mind eating the eyes or the, the tentacles? You suck the heads of crawdads. That's what you do? Apparently. What's the difference between a crawfish and a crawdad? Somebody tell me. One buck for Mike's tequila fund. Oh, God. Literally last night when we were talking about streaming the cube, we were driving home and Mike's like, hey, you want to stop by the liquor store? And I was like, I don't know, man. I feel like he went too deep too fast. Oh, we can play that? Oh, wow. One is salt water, one is fresh water. Okay. It's my crawdad. This guy doesn't have trample, so we can just block with this guy for now. That's pretty okay. I like this because I'm going to block here, and it forces them to either pump this guy or find an answer. And if they find an answer, they likely can't pump so a Johnny can survive. Crawfish is the species as a whole. A crawdad is a type of crawfish? Crawdads are male. Craw moms are <laughs> Okay, well, you win. You win. He's a craw. Dad. Also, if they, if they pump here to, to keep their guy alive... Then we likely get to flip Huntmaster, which is pretty cool. And my, my, otherwise, you trade a wolf for a chameleon colossus, which is pretty okay with us. Yeah, do that. He's mighty, mighty. He's a brick. Oh, also, we can shoot this guy and abrade it? Oh my god, yes, we're doing that 100%. Oh, Reflecting Pool seems pretty good here. 
Uh, let's go red, white, abrade you. I think we just attack for eight here. Yeah. Actually, no, let's try to hit a card and we can play it. And then we can flip this guy back. Um, well, we're not going to be able to play that. But it's still probably worth taking, right? He's a craw. Dad. He's mighty, mighty. He's a real craw dad. This is, uh, he's a craw dad to the tune of Brick House. Kodama's reach. Okay. I feel like that's a bit of a reach. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, seven mana. He's a craw. Dead. Johnny's at seven. We're real close to gaining. Oh, we're doing that for sure. So it's three, four, five, six. Or do we just play Jace? We have seven mana. If we hit another three, we can flip this guy. But I don't think we care about that. I think I'm just attacking here. I think we're actually just playing Primeval Titan. Oddly enough, that feels stronger right now. One, two. Oh, we actually have to use the Ancient Tomb. Mm-hmm. All right, what are we getting here? Uh... Definitely a white source. Scrubland. Why do we need a white source? We already have reflective oh, yeah. planes. Right. Uh what do I get? I don't think it really matters. I kinda just want the lands to come to play tapped. No. No. This guy's gonna go ultimate. Can we can we gain some life? Alright, so you have a reach. And I oh, and when you're just game. Okay, I'm gonna write this card down. That has no value here. Seems good. Seems good. Put the power on the bar. Put the power on... That's a, is that a Slipknot song? No. No, it's... uh, Two, nothing's wrong with me. Right? That's the same <laughs> yeah. guys, right? No, those are different guys, actually. Uh, oh, it's the, Put the Bodies on the Floor. It's Drowning Pool. Drowning Pool, Yeah, yes. okay. It's yeah. Put the Bodies on the Floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like their only song, so... You know. Something. Yeah, well, they also... That guy passed away, unfortunately. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, the lead singer died. No, what's the um, what's the song I was thinking of? The what? Nothing wrong with me. What's no, that's that song? The same song. Really? Yeah. So I got the song right. It just took me a second to get the, the artiste. Okay. I kind of want this nameless inversion in here. They got a bunch of dirtly dudes. I believe he drowned in his pool a while. That's, <laughs> it's topical, but not okay. Not okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't care. Actually. Eh. No, last breath seems good. I'll take the remand out. I think transgress could be stronger against things like uh, chameleon colossi. Oh, it's me, little chameleon colossi. Boah, boah. I hate you. Boah, boah. Oh, this hand is great. God, these turn three Jaces every game, man. Our, our two-mana ramp is OP. Yeah, gee, I wonder why we're winning. Well, I only did it one game out of, like, a million. Out of, like, four. I'm just saying Jace in general. Yeah, he's a dead rel. Man, I want to get a white source because of this, but then I'm like, no, I don't care. He drowned in his own vault. He was over this, and that's why they named the band. That's weird, though, because wouldn't they name the band before he died? Isn't that how we knew he was in the band? That's kind of strange. We have to just get Island here, unfortunately. But then we get to play Jace, so it is what it is.
Oh, wow. Look what's happening right now. Oh. Slimy Jace might not actually be good here. You might not be good here. Oh, that was that great. Was good, though. That was a great draw. We're still slamming Jace. Are you going to plus him? Yeah. Five Crawdad song bugs. <laughs> was there a Crawdad song? Or we can actually bounce the Lotus Cobra. Before he died, they were called Not Yet Drowning Pool. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to bounce this guy. They don't have the power to to sing. Cro Did I make a Crawdad song? Should I? Should there be a Crawdad song? Something, some Crawdad's got to give. So I got four mana. Here comes Chameleon Colossus. My name is Chameleon Colossus. Do you think that's his name or is that what he is? My name is... <laughs> Feels like he just gave up halfway through. I kind of did. What is this? Oh, it's top of your library. I was like, what is this? What's this? What's this? What's, What's this? this? I can't believe my eyes. Yeah, just look at one. That's fine. This is a day of judgment matchup for sure. Let's brainstorm. Well, we kind of have to. Huh. Not ideal. I just have to play Uktabi Orangutan. Actually, I can play Stasis Snare. Get rid of the Oracle, maybe? Yeah. I mean, we lose Jace, you, but... We lose Jace no matter what. I think we can go Snare Transgress. I kind of like that. Which requires double blue and a black. Or double white and a black. We can't actually do that. <laughs> we don't have the mana for that. Can't, we can only play one thing here. We could just play a Johnny, go put a Johnny to five. Then they really have to distribute their damage. I've sounded like Jim Gaffigan for years. Literally like eight years. Literally like eight years. Oh, he's... I think we're in Compulsive and Transgress here. We'll just let Jace go. Let him go. Let him go. The rest of that song. Let him go the rest of that song. Let's see a path to exile in hand. Don't care too much about that. Definitely getting rid of a green source here. Alright. That seems fine. Are we good? Is that... What turn is this? Four? Okay. Well, it's got to be at least turn five, right? I don't no, know, Dad. Rampant growth. Never mind. They might shuffle this away if they don't have a land. I guess they get one from here, so they go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then crack this guy. Hit their seventh mana. There's a forest on the top. Chase the mind sculptor is in the trash can. Chase <coughs> the mind sculptor into the garbage can. Into the garbage can. Wait, what is that? It's I don't know. The is it is it iron? Is it uh, big iron? Maybe it's totally big iron. What about your YouTube, man? Or is this old enough to where it won't get pulled? To the town of our free who rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. Yeah, that's that's it. You were doing big iron on his hips. 
The big iron on his hip. Can you imagine if we had Day of Judgment here? Elspeth next turn is going to be pretty problematic. I think we're probably going to concede here. And going to board into like the more controlling deck. I've been waiting for a Saltai Kiora forever. I don't know if that'll ever happen. I don't think so. Why? Like, she has no reason she's to really already, be black, right? She's already green and blue. What more do you need? Michael's got a gun. Artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Uh, Chromos Vengeance is actually probably pretty good here, too. Yeah. Doesn't kill Planeswalkers, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is good. I like on videos like that, it's always like, like this if you came for Fallout from Fallout, and everyone's like, yep, me too, me too. Oh man, one green in this hand is really good. Mm, I'll deal with it. One green in this hand is really good. Or red, or, yeah, or red. So Stomping Ground would be actually insane here. Why is this like, this is, why is this grayed out? <laughs> Because so, it, it makes no colors. So yeah, so it's like out. you can't even play it. That's weird. Yeah. But see, now I can, so I don't know why it's not grayed out. Why is it still grayed out? Wow, that's really weird, actually. Okay, well, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We're halfway there. You might say we're living on a prayer. I would never say that. No matter what they play here, Lotus Cobra. Well, I guess I can't do a Sylvan Carry added, but any good two drop. Yep, that guy's dead. Okay, well. Stomping ground one time. Hey, look, it came online suddenly. Yeah, you have to have three lands of... You have to have three different colors yeah, of you have to have almost it's online. Three domain. Oh, oh! We're so good at this game! Yay. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> Next time we can Johnny and put three counters on this. Attack for five. <laughs> Seems good. Now Reflecting Pools are just a non-painful city of brass. Oh, Chrome Mox. That's basically a mull anyway. You basically mulliganed. Ooh, Verdant Catacombs. Just the best. They didn't play anything. I feel like if they could have killed this, they would have killed it last turn, right? Yeah. Or do we not care about the damage? Maybe we just draw a card. I think we just want the card advantage. But he'll be dead. Yeah, but I think he'll still be dead. Is it Primeval Titan or Soren? I think Primeval Titan's better. I agree with you. I feel like we're in good shape here. Settle with one... With one white source? I don't see it happening. Are they gonna path this guy? Yeah, see this is why we didn't want to do the do the thing. I don't think any of our manas matter. I'll just get a forest. Glad we got the extra card here. Warden of the first tree. Woo! Got some cons of cons of Tark here throwback here. Oh that's that's a thing. Let's do this first just to see uh, fewer things. Could have played a land to play around Manatai there. Uh, Raging Green for obvious reasons. And we'll get... I don't care about Coast. Probably just Ancient Tomb. That's a lot of mana. I hope they don't Armageddon. Wow, we whiff? Woo! Brutal. 
Brute I mean, we have Primeval Titan. If they have Armageddon in one of their cards, we're probably in better shape. They also need two white to pump it to the second level. So, second level is... It just gets trampled on lifelink. All right, we just win the game again. Man, our deck is great. We should feel great. This draft has gone pretty quick so far. I think we're not even an hour in. Going quick, boy. Damn, boy, he's quick. That's a quick-ass boy. I've got my little knife. I don't know what you're doing, but it's real uncomfortable. You're real what, man? You're real creepy. What are you talking about? <sighs> Big iron on his hip. Hunter didn't Big like that. Iron. Big iron. What? Hunter didn't like that. He's so grumbly, dude. <laughs> Oh, Chad. Oh, no. Chad, you should make a new account. And then I'll never know where you're in the chat. So then you don't jinx everything. Oh, also, TCG Direct. That's crazy technology, man. <laughs> That's, did you optimize your cart? Yeah. And at first it was like, at first when I did it, it was like, you have 67 packages. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, no. I'll just get it. In th I'll pay a couple extra dollars. Give me three packages. Yeah, because like you can't actually buy from someone unless you spend two dollars, and a Ooh. lot of my packages were like sixty cents, and I'm like, well, what are we gonna do? But then they optimized. I think Ker we keep this. Kerwin, thank you for one quick ass bug. <laughs> oh, it actually, it, so it actually, um, I have the filter on, so it replaced ass with rainbow, and it said one quick rainbow buck, and uh, that's funnier. Yeah, I think we keep this too. Compulsive research and control magic are both castable. Compulsive in theory should find you more lands. Four twenty blaze at Spectre. Yeah, they do use the word optimize kind of liberally. Also, there's times I will optimize my cart and it gets more expensive, and I'm like, huh. Yeah, it, it, well, it always does because normally the direct sellers are a bit more expensive. Wow, that was a good draw. Yeah, you're right. That's really good, actually. God, carry out it on turn two is OP. I hope they just hit Emrakul or something right now. Ready? Mox Diamond. It's not the same at all. Stop grumbling. You're grumbling all day. <sighs> Look, I'll pay you. Will you stop grumbling then? It optimizes their profit, I believe. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty good prices. So. Oh, deep analysis, huh? That's a good. That's a good. Good. I think you mean deep analropist. I'm an analropist. That's an, oh oh. What if we just steal the dark confidant? Does that kill us? Don't do that. I do not like that plan at all. Really? Yeah, we have like sixes. We'll just die. But did he die, though? But <laughs> did you die, though? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what do we do, then? I don't like compulsive here. It's just boring. Why? Because it gives them so much to things to do. <sighs> I think we were compulsive. It seems very compulsive of you. Uh, card on Magic Wishlist, wish list, not really. Um, I've wanted to own power for a long time, and I just never... I feel, it, like, it's almost past the point where, like, well, I missed my window to own power at any reasonable rate. Yeah, it's so rate. expensive now. Like, at the time I wanted to get power, it was reasonable. It was actually, like, you could get a Lotus for, like, 1 or 2k, and now it's, like, well, and now it's, like, 6, 7. It's just the, the amount that it's gone up is pretty exorbitant, which makes me kind of sad. Mike, are you buying the new commander decks this year? Is that what we're... No. I'm just making a new commander deck. It is Sidisi, the Brood Tyrant. I will discard a land, and it will be this one. Wow. 
Wow, they're so lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. I guess if you put 28 lands and 11, 12 cards, including one Dark Confidant, your odds are pretty good. So maybe they did that. Do you think they did that? Do you maybe. think that's what they did? They did the, they did a deep and hour pissed. Hey man, scroll down in that chat. Oh, my bad, my bad. Look at this dude. Oh, that could be good. Not yet though, but not today. Hmm. Hmm. I wish Reflecting Pool counter for Sylvan Carry added. We can cycle this dude to get a Scrubland, which is actually very, very good. And then we can actually... Ooh, Scrubland into... Uh, into kill one of these dudes, I think. Well, man, just leave them on the field. They're going to kill themselves. I don't feel that coming. Hmm. 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 Because then it turns on, like, Kokusho and Gideon Jura and stuff like that. I just gained them so much life back. Unbelievable. Okay, you're a real sucker. What a dummy. So they can't gain this turn. We can actually control magic with that guy. I don't think that's terrible, but they probably have better things, right? Do we have any cards to make Little Gentlemen? I don't think so. We passed an Elspeth. Sad. Our Huntmaster makes Little Gentlemen. Oh god, give me something good. Yes. Oh, he's got yes! <clears throat> now we have two Kakushas if we want them. You can Kakush if you want to. You can leave that dragon behind. Because your friends Kokush, and if they Kokush, well, the no friend of mine. Can I have this? Huntmaster makes good boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having a good time. If we also, if we play our Kakusha, we can sacrifice theirs and then lose any threat of them control them getting rid of the control magic. Which they which they managed to do. <laughs> wow, Kukushu and Ajani. That's, that's a good hit. That was a good hit. Four, five, six. Actually, we can play Gideon. Keep up remand. Let's just destroy his tap. Oh, yeah, we're 100% doing that. They have seven cards in hand. That's pretty good. Ideally, this Blazing Spectre will be able to do some, do some work next turn. Oh, we know one of them is uh, Kokusho, so that's... Oh, we also knew that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, play that Kokush again. Kokush! That's not... Kokush, Junior. Give me a... I'll take a Sphinx's Rev. Hot mass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, white black and then we got uh Huge. actually no no no. this is black this is red these two for this guy and then we have red green okay well you also have slowing carry did so right but that's what i mean we're gonna oh yeah yeah that's fine uh i think we actually just bash your face here yeah Really? <sighs> it's frustrating. I agree. We can also get this guy back, let's not forget. And green. Old Hunty McMasterson. 
I think the mic picks up Mike's breathing. That's prob That's possible. All lots of mics pick up people's breathing. I'll move it back a little bit. Knight of Stromgold. Okay, well, that's interesting. And a Maelstrom Pulse. Okay. So now you have the... Okay, fine. What was that about? Did they not get anything? Oh, wow. I guess their only... Mox Diamond is their only card. That's weird. Erg. How do you get him back? You gotta do it in your upkeep. Oh. Which is pretty narrow. I really wish we did it this turn because we had nothing to do. One mic breathing buck. Yeah, we're just gonna play one this. One heavy breathing buck. Was it five to do? Yeah. <laughs> this guy gets pumped, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. So two, three, four, five. They can't kill Gideon. And it has pro white. Can also just block here. God, we know they have a Kakusho though. I heard that. I didn't even need a mic to hear that one. There you go. You did it. You did it. So, one, two, three, four, five. That was a good draw. Um, yeah, we'll just make you come here. Gideon can still survive. If we block something. All right. Never you don't have had, it. You literally had every answer to everything we played. Yep, Maelstrom Pulse for Huntsmaster. Disfigure for the Blazing Spectre. Abrupt Decay for Sylvan Library. Him to Torak for Planeswalker Kokusho. Uh, Repulse for Control Magic. Literal an answer for every single thing we've played. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Don't actually care about you anymore. I'd rather just have Gideon go to one. Because... I'm not sure what we can draw to actually beat this board, but... I feel like we keep wanting Wrath of God. I think this is a Wrath of God deck. Not for the carry added, though. I guess that's true. That's a good point. Yep, stupor for the one card in our hand. Seems good. Yep, cool. Alright. Crawl one card, please. Oh. Dang. Bringing that in. Bringing this in. Take out. Hmm. Maybe remand. Maybe the blazing guy because he's disfigure. Yeah, but they have to have it. Oh, we, did we see any targets for Orangutan? Yeah, we saw Mox. Yeah, that's 
Mm, not that great. So I almost want Nameless just because they have a bunch of nerds. Where are white sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a lot of white sources. I will play first. The sand is great. Yeah, the sand's real good. Yeah, this is the this is the first time drafting the cube. I'm gonna take all the lands and see what we can get. Worked out pretty well. Oh yes. Hmm. Well, we're gonna search and put something back. I think we're just taking four here. Probably gonna keep Soren. Yeah, I like taking four to keep Soren. So we have black red, we have black green or we have green. We're just going to go second white here for obvious reasons. <laughs> Said, uh, you can go to we want to, you can do do it do Because your friends don't sing, and why don't they sing? Because we like them to sing all the time today, <laughs> singing every day. Stupid two cards, that's real cool. You're pretty stupid. And I'll get rid of Dark Salvation. I said, oh, you can dance. You can dance. Everybody's touching your pants. <laughs> I think it's Blazing Spectre just because we can get it down. Yeah. Eat it. <sighs> Suck on them eggs. Suck on them spirit eggs. Spectre eggs. I'm sorry. Not spirit. Oh, I'm going to discard my deep analysis. Basically, I have another card, baby. Wow, Profane Command, huh? That's a pretty good trade for us, I think. Memories. <laughs> you okay, man? Why are you singing Sweet Child of Mine? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Sweet Child of Mine. I mean, you paid for life, man. I were at 10, they have no pressure, so I'm not really worried about it. Also, we get to play Soren next turn. We get to plus Gideon, make him a creature, give him lifelink, and get get in there for seven. With yeah, until he gets doombladed. Uh, he's indestructible, stupid. They're just going to Maelstrom Pulse him because they always have it. Oh, they deep analysis. That means they're going to play land. Maelstrom Pulse. Right. I'm waiting. Oh, that's just a stupid leech. Hey, man. That leech has got feelings. Heavy breathing. 
I don't think we can pay for life again. We gotta stop doing that. We got Sphinx's Rev, and we're gonna gain seven with Gideon. All right, maybe. The problem is, if we do that, then they just kill Soren. No, they don't. Soren goes to five. That's actually pretty good. Make sure you activate your Gideon. First. God, that would be the worst, right? Oops. Boop. And we just die. Oh, we just win. I guess that'll do. Like, we go to 13, and then we have Sphinx's Rev in hand, like... Erdothor, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back to the internet. Just around the internet. What does this do? It's nothing. a 3-3 three, three fly. <laughs> You're a commander guy, so you probably know this does actually nothing. I mean, it's okay if you can put more counters on it, but it's 7 mana for this thing. This has been sitting on my desk since last night. It's still cold. It's unbelievable. Yeah, man. Seven mana is a, a hell of a drug. But it's insulated, right? Like otherwise, we get condensation on the outside, right? And that's where the that's where the technology comes in. Also, it's got doggos on it. Can so we just can we just got them? No, we're not. We like we don't have that many blue sources anyway, so it doesn't seem worth the risk. But got them. But got them. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Now you did. Now I did. Wow. Is Dark Salvation good? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think any of his creatures die to it. Maybe we just want Transgress. Yeah, that seems good against it. Yeah, I like that better. I think the sand is great. Just around the Michael B. They do have him and Stuber, which is pretty, pretty unfortunate. But they are on the play, and they went to six, so that's a good sign. They kill Bob and the Siphoner, but they do it for three mana, whereas, like, uh, we also we already have, like, uh, a Braid, Last Gasp, a bunch of other cards that do that. Oh, yes. So we're just going to get Overgrown to him, I think, because it's the only one we don't have a second. Like, it gets all, it gets all our colors. One ten finally cube bits. Oh, that was a good draw. I think we do that. Yeah, but the problem is if we use it, they're just going to activate it in response, right? Oh. So I think we just wait till they activate it and then we do it. Okay, so just ramp growth this turn and eat a couple damages. Because if we leave mana open, they're just not going to pull the trigger on it. Second blue or second white. We have Control Magic, Jace, and Sphinx's Rev, and then we have Stasis Snare, Day of Judgment, Eternal Dragon, Akroma's probably gonna get white. We also Plus have Gideon, right? Hand, yeah. Could have also gotten second green for Titan, but I think we're gonna be fine. We have four turns to hit that. Turn four, turn five, turn three turns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oof. Aggressive. Also, we can just drop Gideon next turn and kill this guy. Yep. Or we can drop a Johnny and make this guy 5-5 uh, five, five again. That might be a reasonable race. Or we can hit a 3-drop and play the 3-drop and Last Breath. We have lots of options here. I feel like we are going to take some damage here. 1, 2, 3, 7. We go to 8. Or 9. Okay. They didn't do anything. Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. Also, we got the Gideon Soren combo next turn as well. If they, uh. Oh, wow. This is just getting in there. Oh, that's insane. One cacao buck, at least I think that's what came out of you. <laughs> what is this you're doing? Vraska's Contempt. Okay. So that's a two for one? That's fine. Thank you. I accept that. 
They also could have just attacked Gideon. I mean, he would have went to... Uh, One. Yeah, but I mean, like, still, it's... Oh, they're just going to come at us? Deal? They have no cards in hand? Yeah, Soren. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, we have options now. They have no cards. And we have a, a handful of gas. We could also just Ajani make this a 5-5 five, five, and then it's a two-turn clock. Yeah. I mean, I don't think... This is two damage, so I don't think they have anything that deals us four. They can make them a 3-3. Three, three. We can also Soren keep up Last Breath, but I don't think that's great. Anyone else remember when Petri Leech was called Char Charmander? I have never, ever heard anyone call Petri Leech a Charmander. Never, neither have I. Not once. That doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't look anything like a Charmander. Yeah, I agree with you. And I want a blue source. I probably just want to play it safe and get an island. I do not want to be taking any damage here. Assuming they don't have, like, active trees, and I think Primeval Titan is the safer play. If they had active and we put three counters on this guy, we'd still be dead anyway. Good games. Unless they're going to kill us right here. But they top decked, so we'll see. Yeah, the Planeswalkers definitely felt powerful. Because the cube's kind of like a middle-ish mid cube. Yeah, mid so like... Oh, he's going to be gone. Dang it. All right, 3-0 on the first... In the first Pro Tour cube. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Nice way to start things out. Undefeated. But that's how we do. We start out these cubes and we go 3-0. And then uh, we start out the... Even our, our first M19 draft, we went 3-0. So like apparently we know how to draft the very first time. And then we don't adapt well enough. So either way, we'll see how we'll see how things go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my Patreon page, my Twitch page. Uh, both of the links are in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.